Hey guys, welcome to your seventh beginner's Java tutorial, and in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you about the if and else statement. Now, the if and else statements in Java are incredibly useful all round because what they do is the, um, they take a condition and they test, and then the if statement tests whether it is true or not. If it is true, it does one thing. And if it isn't true, it does another thing. So I'm just going to show you the the most basic possible example right now. So in NetBeans, um, I've made a one sec. I've made a new project, Java application, blah blah blah, and I've got my class here. And as you can see, it's just um, a blank file. And to start off, I'm just going to include the package tutorial, which is the name of the package uh, that I've made. And then I'm going to start off by making my public class, public class tutorial. Then I'm going to make my main method, public static void main string args. And now inside our main method, we're going to be doing our if and else statements. Now this brings me on to another point, which is a new variable I'm going to teach you, and that variable is called a boolean. And it's written like this, and it's the same as the variables we learn, like integer, like int and double. Uh, to declare a boolean, you write, you type boolean, and then you give it a name. I'm going to call it bool, and then you make it equal to something. Now, what a boolean is, it's a value that is either true or false. So, when creating a boolean, you can either give it a true or false value. I'm going to make the value false to start off with. And now we're going to start programming our if and, a, if and else statements. So, to write an if statement, you simply write if, and then in brackets, um, you type the condition you are testing. And for us, that is bool. So, um, at the moment, when the program starts up, it's going to say if the boolean, it tests if the boolean is true or not. It tests if our variable bool is true. At the moment, it's false. So, this um, condition will not meet. So um, actually, not to confuse thing, just not, just to avoid confusion, I'm going to make this true to start off with. So, if bool is true, then do something, and then we'll do our else statement in a second. Now, when making if and else statements, if you only have one line of code, you can simply hit enter and write the one line of code on the other side, such as system out print line. And I'm going to say bool is true. And then I can leave it at that. But say you wanted to execute a large block of code in your if statement, you simply add spiky brackets after the if statement, and then you put um, what you want to do in here. So I'm just going to do that. I'm going to cut and paste this. So now, just to say, just to reminder, uh, when our program starts up, it's going to create a, a boolean variable and a boolean is either true or false and the name of it is bool and it's equal to true then we come to our if statement and the program is going to say if the bool is true then print out to the screen bool is true and now we're going to make our else statement and we simply write else and then we can open our open our spiky brackets and if else basically means if it's not true so I'll explain again in a second, and then we can write bool is false. So hopefully this is quite self-explanatory at the moment. Uh, I'm just going to run this and show you what happens. Now in our output down here, we can see bool is true, and this is because the boolean is equal to true. If we make this false and run it, we can see that bool is false. So just to recap, one more time. Uh, we've created a boolean called bool, and a boolean is either a true or false value. At the moment, it's equal to false. So when the program starts up, it's going to say is if the bool is true, and it's going to test if it's true, but it's not true, so it's false. So it doesn't do this bit. It comes to the else statement, and then it does this. Bool is false. But then if we make it true, it's going to say, okay, the boolean is true, so just do this, and it's going to ignore the else statement. So hopefully I explained that well enough, and it should be quite self-explanatory. 
at the moment, but uh, in next tutorial I'm going to teaching going to be teaching you about the else if statement. Um, but for now, um, just make sure you understand this concept and before moving on. Um, and just to say thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and I'll see you next time.